Now that your account is active, it's time to set up your first site in AVIC. Although you can use an OVA installer or Bash installer to deploy AVIC, we highly recommend using the Windows service wherever possible. So that's what we'll cover in this video. Visit our knowledge base if you need a hand using one of the other advanced deployment methods. We refer to sites as clients in AVIC. If you have more than one site, pick one to start with and you can repeat the process for additional sites as needed. To create the site in AVIC, click the Add Client button on the right side of the screen. For the first site, set the type to Client, enter your site name, and select a URL for the site. It needs to be at least four characters and lowercase letters and numbers only. If you fill in the street address now, you'll see a pin representing that location on the geographic map. Once you're done, hit Next. Here you'll see your authorization screen, where you can pick and choose which AVIC users get access to this site. Since your account is brand new, it'll just be you to start. Make sure you have super admin access and hit save. When you see your site appear in your client list, go ahead and click on it to dive right in. Now's the fun part, deploying the AVIC collector and watching discovery start. Click on the arrow beside install Windows service to see the instructions for installation. To get the AVIC Windows collector, click download. It's about a 10 megabit download and takes only about a minute or so to do. No new hardware, no owner's configuration. You'll want to move this executable to a Windows server at your site. I've pre-downloaded a service here and already moved it over. From here, the one and only step we have to take on your equipment is to install the collector. To do that, simply open up a command prompt as administrator and navigate to the directory where you've placed the Windows collector. I've put it in the user's downloads folder. From here, we run a simple install command. Click the copy button beside the install command in AVIC and paste it into the command prompt. Hit enter, type in the username and password you selected when registering, and if all is successful, you'll see a message just like this on your screen. You'll know the collector is connected once the deployment wizard disappears. You'll see devices start to appear in the next two to three minutes if you haven't already. Your next steps are to add in the SNMP and login credentials for your network devices here. And you can always add new subnets to be scanned as well using the Manage Networks grid. Within the next few minutes, you'll see discovery banners at the top of the screen guiding you through the rest of the deployment. For further instructions on deployment or setup, visit the AVIC knowledge base.